Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. It is February the 15th, 2019 and I'm very excited because I am going to go pick up the new trailer finally. So I have been looking for a couple of months uh, on Craigslist and Equipment Trader and everywhere else I could find to try to find, I was my intention was to get a good used trailer but I couldn't find one at a good price because I am trying to get a five by 10 trailer that's got the 24 inch mesh sides. I'm gonna be doing a lot of debris and limb removal and stuff like that as part of the business offering that I'm doing. And so I'm gonna need that extra side height. And the problem I was finding is trailers around here bring a lot of money. A really good used one is almost the same price as a new one and if you want something that's you know half the price when it was new it's going to be pretty clapped out meaning the gates probably going to be bent it's going to be um, may need axle work or new tires some of the woods going to need to be replaced so it just made sense to just go ahead and get a brand new one but those aren't that easy to find. I mean, there's plenty of landscape trailers around, but to find one that had a 24 inch mesh sides is kind of hard. But anyway, I found one and it's at a dealer. It's a trailer dealer down in Conyers, Georgia. It's about 30 miles from here. So I'm gonna be driving down there and picking that up and bringing it back. Now, a lot of people are gonna go, well, why are you going with a five by 10 and not maybe like a six by 10 or a six by 12? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I live in a neighborhood that's got an HOA and I can't keep the trailer outside overnight in the driveway. So it has to go in the garage, it has to fit in the garage. So the 10 foot length, it's like 14 feet overall with the tongue. So that's as long as I could go. And the width, you know, I do, my properties are be, gonna be between a quarter and three quarters of an acre with most of them being less than half an acre. The biggest mower I'm probably ever gonna have on that trailer is gonna be a 48 inch. So that's more than adequate to, you know, to have what I need on there. I'm not gonna carry more than probably two mowers on there anyway. Um, for the first cuts of the season in March, this, for the scalping, I'm gonna use my, the Forrest Gump mower I've got a couple videos of and that thing is an absolute beast at scalping. It's good. It's got a really good um, collection system on it, and it's just good for it's good for doing Bermuda first scalps. And after March, I'll park it and then use the uh, mowers. The mowers, right? The mower that I'm going to be getting on Monday, hopefully, if everything works out, I'm going to be getting a brand new mower. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. It's going to be, um, I'm 99% sure what I'm going to get, but I will tell you when I get it and show you. But anyway, enough talking. I need to go down to Conyers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the GoPro up on the dash. If you like time-lapse videos of driving, which I really do, then um, feel free to watch this after the time-lapse ends. I'll be at the trailer dealer and we'll see what kind of trailer I got. I think you'll I think you'll like it.
All right, guys, I apologize. I've been having camera difficulties here. Obviously, you see me back at the house, but I just wanted to show you the trailer. I was going to do a uh, video part at the um, trailer dealer, but it was just, they were really busy, and I needed to get out of there because there was a big wreck on the highway, and um, there's a lot of traffic around there. Anyway, so this is the, uh, the unit. It's got tubular tops and uprights all the way around. This is a heavier gauge mesh than what I've uh, commonly seen before. But it's got the uh, heavy duty 15 inch tires. The one thing that I really like about this trailer is it's got these really nice steps on both sides. Um, most of the trailers I'd looked at didn't have that. A lot of the angle iron trailers didn't have that. This, I'm not sure, this would be great for brush. Tying it off if you've got a big stack of brush. But not so good if you're going to put a Gorilla Lift on there because I'd have to probably cut that one and that one off. But you know, this gate is not that heavy. So it's got LED lights all the way around. It's got the... Uh, metal guard that is around the taillights and this just has the style where you pull up and it's you know it's not that heavy but this is this will be plenty of room for what I'm using it for it's got the jack the swivel down jack. Now one thing that I'm going to have to do for sure is oh it's also got a came with a spare tire mount so I need to get one of those. I'm going to have to put this I'm going to have to drop this down a couple inches because probably about I don't know three inches or so what do you all think so that the trailer sits level but anyway, uh, this is really weird. Obviously, I couldn't, I can't feel this back there. It's only like 970 pounds, but there is no sound whatsoever coming from this trailer. It is completely silent. There's no rattling. It's really weird because at least the gate's going to rattle a little bit because I went over some really rough country roads and um, yeah, no rattling whatsoever. So. I'm going to see, I think one of our tag offices is open on Saturday, so I'm going to get tagged for it. And hopefully I will be able to get the new mower on there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's plenty big enough. It'll swallow that snapper for sure. And um, the Honda, you know, I could probably get three mowers on there. But anyway... I just wanted to show you guys what the new rig looks like. The plan that I have for this is I'm gonna have some, probably some signage here and on the other side and definitely on the back. I'm not gonna go the full, the full width because that'll turn this thing into a sail. But um, I will definitely probably do something you know, like that, some aluminum and just bolt it to the back for some good advertisement. But anyway, that's the, that's the new rig. It's the new trailer. So it'll, uh, it'll do well. It's going to barely fit in the garage. I've got to clean the garage out and that's it. So guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy that. The time lapse was really long, I'm sure. I haven't looked at it yet, but the camera ran out of battery when I hit the neighborhood. And the traffic was just is horrible. But you, you, if you're this far in, you've already seen it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. And I will see you on the next video.